You're safe. My marks vanished like it never was, so things must have gone well, huh? Glad to see you found Moe, too. You're frowning. What's wrong? Well, his mark hasn't gone away. What did you say? Hey, what's going on? Um, mister? We'll tell Mr. Mishida about everything. Please go see Mary. Welcome back, Lord, Le Lord Yoshiki. It appears that you overcame your fear and cleared away the grudge. Congratulations are in order. Her tone is the same as always, but for some reason it grates on me. What's so great about it? Why hasn't my mark vanished? It is likely the one who gave it was not Hanahiko. I'm suddenly lightheaded, the world fading. I'd risked my life during that investigation, and it was completely useless to me. I guess all that's left is waiting for dawn and my death. Lord Yashiki. If it is all right with you, would you mind showing me your mark? <clears throat> I hold my arm out towards Mary. Her neck shifts slightly as she stares at the mark. It is as I thought. It is only a minuscule fraction. But the fate I sense from this mark has been distorted. What does that mean? Is it because I beat Hanahiko? The flame of your life was indeed fading at one point, but it has now become brighter. Are you saying I'm not going to die at dawn? That is correct. My sigh of relief is so deep it feels like my soul is escaping my body. The mark still burned on me, but it seems I'll be okay. For now. It appears the mark you bear is different from the ones I know of. But there is no doubt that it was given to you by a spirit. Then... There are other spirits like Hanahiko that give people marks? Yes. Ah ha 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 Spirits born of grudges have an insatiable hatred for the living. Oh great. This persistent hatred is not sated by simply killing the living. Oh even greater, even better, even better. Rather, they drag their victims to the depths of despair before they die. Before their death. Oh, lovely. That is what they desire. The mark is an effective method. Spirits who wish to terrorize the living. The more I hear, the less I understand. It appears something within each city can easily create such spirits. Though I could not say what it is. So, for me to escape my mark, I'd find the spirit that gave it to me and take care of it then. Yes. It is logical to believe the mark will disappear with the spirit. That is the only way to escape death and regain your memories. How lovely. Yeah, I know. I know, right? It will soon be dawn. I am sure that you are all tired. Please rest.
You are free to use any room. Hang on, let me just... Ahem. Thank you so much, seriously. If you hadn't been there, I probably would have been killed by Hanahiko. But when I think about you still having your mark, it's hard to be happy. Well, I'm going to bed. Good night. You did great work today. You're much more competent than all the other adults I know. Though it only makes sense for adults to help children. It will be challenging from now on. My schoolwork has suffered due to my memory loss. I need to study hard to catch up. You do your best too. Well then, good night. Sure thing, Sukasa. Oh my god. Think I'm heading off myself. With that mess of trouble taken care of, I'm sure I'll crash right away. Alright, here, have this. Punch. No. He pulls a small paper item from his beat up coat and hands it to me. It looks like a newspaper article. It's about that boy who died. Before he was adopted, he'd lived with his mother. She understood her son, unlike his hard-headed adoptive father. She'd put makeup on him in front of a mirror. She very much doted on him. After all that hell at a young age, then dying, that was probably his only good memory. Mashita's smile is sad. Well, it's up to you how you interpret it. Do whatever you want. See ya. Oh, thanks for giving this to me after the fact. This couldn't have helped me at all before. Oh no, not at all, not in the least. You didn't just hold on to a freaking article that would have told me everything. You son of a bitch, Mashita. This is withholding evidence. I'll have your badge. Are you a cop? I don't remember. <clears throat> The goddamn mother Hmm. Humph. Lord Yashiki, there is something I must tell only you. About those who lost their marks. They must leave in the morning. Those who escape their fate should return to their daily lives. That is the will of Lady Saya. So I'll be the only one left behind. I feel like a student repeating a grade. Lord Yashiki, by any chance, are you uneasy about being the solo occupant in this mansion? I kind of am, not at all, you're here. Um, you're here. I must express my extreme gratitude that you hold me in such regard. Although the things I'm capable of are rather limited. Mary stares unblinkingly at me. <clears throat> I could just be extrapolating it, but it seems like she's thinking about something. <sighs> now then, Lord Yashiki, it would be for the best that you take your rest as well. Please, find me when you are ready. Farewell. New info was added to the spirit file. Mashita's collection of articles. Other. I'm sorry, what? Well, we still have all this stuff. Hanahiko. Oh, really? <clears throat> you son of a bitch. You had four articles? 
No, five possibly. Oh my god. Okay. Machida's collection of articles. 1990X. Blunt, blunt. The principal of H Elementary, Mr. A, reported to local police that his son, age nine, was missing. The police organized a huge search, even into the forest, by H Castle, but were unable to locate him. Mr. A was famous for helping out at the orphanage, and his missing son was adopted from there. Oh, great. The boy's physical characteristics are height 3'2", small and slender, has short hair and was wearing a white shirt and navy shorts when he went missing. Often mistaken for a girl, usually seen playing with girls and enjoying wearing, enjoys wearing makeup. Always carries toys, toy makeup with him in his pouch. Mr. A, the lost child's father, has resigned from his post as principal of H Elementary and is moving out of H City. <clears throat> A man of importance in the area, he's been plagued with slander that has affected his family. Some rumors claim he is a... Oh, no. Some rumors claim he's a pedophile or question his sexuality. These horrible accusations ignore his human rights. Oh, oh boy. <clears throat> After the missing boy's mother passed away, he was placed in an orphanage, having no other family. The two were extremely close. A neighbor shares, One day the boy wore his mother's makeup to show his friends only to be teased and bullied by them. His mother rushed up with her mirror, had him look in it, and told him he was cute. Many people disappeared between when the boy went missing and the school closed. Among them are the boy's homeroom teacher and that woman I saw in the underground room. There's a theory that he may have sought help from adults while he was being abused with no success. After death, his angry despair called created Hanahiko, the spirit that attacks adults. Well, son of a bitch. Okay. Shida. Ex-detective. Okay. Talk. Are you retiring to bed? Uh, I still have things to do. Please come speak to me again once your business is concluded. Oh, okay. Uh, exit system. Okay. Alright. I guess we'll go to bed. Rest. Good night. <clears throat> Chapter 1 Hanehiko End The end is behind my booty by the way <laughs> Oh my Another night greets me <clears throat> It's been three days since the investigation and not one glimmer of hope for me. Time idles by as death draws ever closer to claim me. <clears throat> the mark that brings death. The only way to escape it is to defeat the spirit that gave it to me. But I have no clue where that spirit is right now. Maybe things would be different if that specialist Sayakujo was alive. A knock breaks my train of thought. How long are you planning on sleeping? You're pretty relaxed for a guy who could die soon. <clears throat> the ex-detective. Satoru Mashita. The other mark bearers left the mansion, but he stayed behind. Mary was the cause. I guess she asked him to help as he was leaving. She went against Saya Kujo's wishes by doing that, but it seems it was for my sake. But I don't know about Mashita. Even if he was asked to stay, he has no reason to agree. What's that look? Not happy I stayed behind? 
I'm grateful. I'd prefer my. I prefer Sukasa. I'm grateful. Cut that out. It's creepy. Flatter me all you want, but I won't forget you drove without a license. I'm sorry, what? He's got a bad mouth, as usual. His true intentions aside, I have to say I'm honestly grateful for his help. <sighs> well, I believe you could hit without warning, so I can't go out whenever I want. He's been going around gathering information in my place. I saw some people from the force. Still no ruckus over H Elementary. But wait a second. That guard went missing. His company should be notified. <clears throat> that company is exactly the issue. It's run by Yaku Yakuza thugs who have their eyes on the labor department. They don't want the police involved. Oh. Plus, in a shitty company like that, people up and walk out all the time. Yamashita? That was his name? Everyone thinks he up and split. I hear that's why they're having a hard time finding a replacement. If you didn't know the school was haunted, it'd just be another abandoned building. The government wouldn't need to rush to find a new guard. The man lived alone, so a missing persons report won't be filed soon. The school most likely won't come under suspicion until then. That's it for my report. Oh, whoops, sorry. <clears throat> he covered a lot of ground in a short time. Ex-detectives sure are handy. <laughs> Did you bring up the mark or spirits when you were asking around? Do you think I'm an idiot? They'd be calling the loony bin. Even if the kids or I did bring them up, who'd honestly believe us? Why waste my breath? <clears throat> Exasperated, he shrugs. Searching the mansion was on you, so did you find anything? I came up blank as well. Though I've only gone through half so far. And some of the rooms were locked. Stuck without a warrant. Like you wait for something like that. I swallow the words before they come out. Oh, yeah, Mary's asking for you. You should get going. <clears throat> I have been waiting for you. Mary is sitting primly on the couch, the same as always. It appears you are having a difficult time with your investigation. I do wish I could be of more use to you. I know you can sense mark bearers. Can you sense spirits too? If they were to come onto the grounds, I believe I could, yes. That doesn't sound particularly useful. Do you have any other abilities or powers? Indeed. I can view the vague shape of the course of a person's fate. Like predicting the future? Oh no, nothing quite so extreme. It's more akin to fortune-telling. It may or may not come to pass. I get it. That's why what you predicted earlier didn't actually happen. Did Mary tell you something? The truth you're seeking can be found here, or some such. Like a fool, I fell for it, so convinced. I'm such an idiot. A loud knock sounds at the door. A visitor in the dead of night. A mark bearer? Probably. Open the door and the visitor strides in. Hi? 
It's a shady looking young man in a uniform delinquents with these days tend to wear. Oh great. He smirks at me, clearly feeling superior. This place, Cujo Mansion. I got business business with them, some Saya chick. No way you're her, huh? <clears throat> he narrows his eyes, staring suspiciously. <laughs> She's out. I'm Saya. Turn to Mashita. <laughs> um... She's out. Damn, that right? You guys know her, though, yeah? Would you hear me out? Introductions are quickly done. His name's Shu Nagashima. And as we'd guessed, he's got a mark. He rolls up his right sleeve to show us. And yep, the red mark is burned in. <clears throat> An occult freak friend said something. Like it gives you amnesia. For real? Yeah, that's right. I can't even remember my real name. You're kind of too calm for all that. Bet you're pulling a fast one on me. <clears throat> that grates, but that reaction's normal. But if he's not going to believe the rumors, then he had no reason to come. Why is he here, then? <laughs> rumors are just that. Amnesia or dying because of some mark? That's comic book craziness. Every word of it is true. Was that a girl's voice? Oh, was it? Oh, that was Mary. <laughs> <clears throat> there is a saying, the truth is stranger than fiction. There are two sides, they are two sides of the same coin. Mary begins explaining. I'm sure she figured it would be the fastest way to convince him. You got some damn speakers set up somewhere, don't you? I don't take kindly to threats. He peers closely at Mary. Such a mechanism does not exist, Lord Shu. No way! He yelps pathetically, his eyes wide, and suddenly falls flat on his ass. <laughs> oh, big tough delinquent. Oh, no. Someone fell down, went boom. Aww. Oh, my. Oh, you doing? You need me. me. Oh, you need me, 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 me. Sorry. Sorry. Oh my god. Oh. oh, I don't know why I found that that funny. <laughs> it seems that despite appearances, this punk is terrified of ghosts and monsters. His tough act is likely a cover. Oh, that's gotta hurt. That, that, god, yeah, that's gotta hurt. Okay. After that, he make, meekly pays full attention to Mary as she speaks. He listens quietly, his face pale, as she tells him about the mark and spirits. By the time she finishes explaining, his, voice is his, his face is devoid of color. Now, Lord Shu... Have you not already experienced the beginnings of memory loss? You... yeah. I don't think he's used to Mary yet. His face is rather <laughs> stiff. My memory's always been crap, so I thought I was imagining things. Acting all tough, then falls on his ass, yeah. 
But then it started getting so bad that it was just ridiculous. I got this occult friend, yeah? Told him about my scar, the mark, and he scared the shit out of me. Showed me an article that said it was all that scar thing's fault. So now I'm here. Moe mentioned seeing an article by Saya Kujo in a magazine, too. It's all because of some monster? The hell, this is crazy. Why'd this have to happen to me? <clears throat> Not believing it's normal. But if you don't, you'll die. If you don't want to kick the bucket, figure out how you got the mark. Even if your memory's gone bad, you should at least remember that. He has no right to be that pretty. Who, this guy? The delinquent? The delinquent. Eh, I mean, I guess a little. Eh. Maybe a little? I don't know. It's not my type. Not my type. I'm not that far gone, thanks. I'm positive I got it in the forest by H. Castle. I know I did. I mean, it does have a rumor about the place being cursed, so... We should probably ask him some more about it. Forest? The huge forest west of the city. Wait, doesn't everyone know that? Even kids do. But I've lost my memory. Maybe that's why I don't know about it. The place is the city's garbage dump. Bunch of nasty rumors about it. There's illegal industrial waste dumping there, like, all the time. It's not just objects, either. They say a black car once dumped a young woman's body there. Oh! The mother strangled her kid there because she couldn't take care of it. Oh, great. Gets even better. There's tons more rumors like that, whether or not any of them are true. I heard some of those, too. Like, the lost kid who was eaten by a dog and they only found his torso. Or that murderer, or that a murderer hides out there and kills anyone who gets near. Oh, great. Uh, the two of them happily exchange stories. Apparently, while he hates ghosts, he's more than fine with this kind of stuff. I've hit up the edge of the forest a few times, but never walked in. No one with half a brain goes there. What should I ask next? Uh, it's cursed? Shoe stiffens like a board. I hate that supernatural crap. Just talking about it freaks me out. What a wimp. Rumors exist for a reason. That place is a famous suicide spot. Fifty people die there a year, so they say, and that's just what they find. Once there was a mass suicide. It has its fair share of grisly history. Shoe's eyes are wide. He looks like he swallowed a bug. What should I ask next? Why were you there? I was obviously on my bike, man. Place is totally empty at night, so it's perfect for driving around. What, like a motorcycle? Riding around free as a bird helps me clear my mind. Before you ask, yes, I have my license and no illegal mods. Ha. Huh. Is that so? We don't need another person flaunting the law. One is enough. I smile wryly. Who would have thought this kid would be on the straight and narrow? That day, I was clearing my head when my, bike, when my bike broke down. I stopped to check it out. Then suddenly, I've got this scar. I doubt we'll get any more out of shoe. No info on the spirit, then. You haven't forgotten anything? No keeping secrets now. Quit strong-arming me. 
Hold your horses. I'm thinking. He's complaining, but I can see he really is combing through his memories. <clears throat> there was something. It wasn't a ghost or nothing, but I did spot something weird. Over by the side of the road. I saw this huge man. I'm sorry, what? A giant? It wasn't just some tree's shadow? Honestly, I'm not real sure. The place was pretty dark, and I only saw it for a second. It sounds pretty iffy. Is that info really reliable? 